Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today you'll see Karens and Kevins get angry at bus drivers, at passengers on a train, and at skateboarders. They racially discriminate, hate on kids, cut the lines and chops, they treat restaurant employees like dirt, and they trespass on military zones. Get ready to be shocked! Acting like no one else in the whole wide world really matters apart from her, Karen confronts a bus driver for not getting her home at the exact right minute. He's a whole seven minutes behind schedule. Just see how this bus driver reacts. Stop talking back to me! This is a stressful job! Just get off the bus! I'm having a stressful day! I don't want to hear any back talk! I'm seven minutes down! I'm sick and tired! It's not alright! I'm gonna get written up for it! I'm sick and tired of people criticizing me! You've never done this job before! I know! And you've you know never done ours! See, there you go! Because I'll sit here all day if you want to keep talking back! I'll sit here all day! You're the driver! Karen should realize that free speech doesn't mean you're free from consequences. This Karen tells this employee to go back to Mexico. Karen probably didn't see the large refreshing drink coming her way. Oh, what did she say? What did she say? Hey, she said to send that to Mexico. Send that to Mexico. Oh, hey, no. Hey, my. Here's a racist Karen at a gas station getting what she deserves for being a racist. Karen's own husband is telling her to get lost. They have an argument and then Karen turns on her husband too. You don't know him. You don't know her. You get in the car. Aaron, get stupid ass in the car. Get in the car, Aaron. Get in the car, Aaron. You do not know him. You do not know her. You don't know anybody around here. You are not special. <laughs> Get your stupid ass in the f crack deal. No, he is not. Oh, what? Really? Because he's driving a f crack. You and <laughs> you said crack. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Did you cross check that <laughs> you <f> crack? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, hey you'll see that big road. She can handle No, she can't handle God. <laughs> you drug dealer day. <laughs> Karen's will do everything to prove they're right. This Karen was showing a video of footage to her neighbors when she suddenly slapped their phone out of their hands because they were recording. She had the audacity to do this in front of the cops, so she ended up in handcuffs. The time a Karen wanted to try me and my sister. You're dumping in the dumpster that doesn't belong to you. She's backing up. She backed into the first because she was out. yelling at me. And so, he, well, here's where I am. I didn't, I wasn't, it wasn't that I wouldn't let her out. I'm way back here. She really had the nerves to slap my phone out of my hand right in front of the cop. No, I did not. Stop lying. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Here's a male Karen, and guess what? He's drunk, and he doesn't think his stepson's YouTube channel is a real job. This verbal fight is turning physical. Physical. It all seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? Are you I'm asking you a question because I saw you do it. Do you have I just saw you do it. Do you have a job? Yeah, the fuck I do. No, you don't. People are watching this. That's my job. Man, in front of a green screen? Hell yeah, I am. Do whatever the fuck I want in front of this green screen. Not my fucking house. Yeah, that's how that goes. Get the fuck out of the way. I'm gonna knock his. Oh, out. you're not. Get the fuck out. You're fucking not. We pay you money. That's how that goes. You're drunk as shit. Shut up. What? Yeah, try Go some. Upstairs. Go. Yeah. Don't defend him. Go. Armand's probably already Go called the cops, dude. Get the f out of here. No. Cops it's Sierra, the stay there. Me, you and him. Cops are on the way. No, it's not. It's you and your fat ass. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. You want to know how bad I am? Go upstairs. Go upstairs. You want to know how bad I am? You want to know how bad I am? Here's one important fact about Karens, they really don't like children, particularly other people's kids. No, they don't even like their own children. So this Karen doesn't like little girls watering flowers in her neighborhood. She nags them until they burst into tears. Shame on you, Karen. Here's another Karen insulting my daughter. Coming out here, my daughter's been coming here watering plants for three weeks while they're out of town. You don't know them, you insulting my child. We live in a neighborhood, Karen. 
Welcome to the internet, Karen. You got little girls crying. Welcome to the internet, Karen. The new Karen. Welcome to the neighborhood, Karen. I need a name. Uplift here. You don't need a name. You need to get away. You need to go somewhere. If you don't know, you need to go somewhere, Karen. Out here making little girls cry for watering plants at a friend of ours house, and you're the new Karen. You need to go somewhere, Karen. Welcome to the internet, Karen. Welcome to the internet, making little girls cry for watering flowers. A police officer hangs upside down, pantsless after a high-speed chase went wrong. Apparently, he tried to jump the fence, but his belt got stuck on a fancy metal bed on top, and he fell forward. Instead of helping him, a bunch of Kevins made fun of him instead because he's a cop. Oh, you're proud of yourself. <laughs> Like a bit red, don't help him, don't help him, don't help him. No, don't, he's a police officer, don't help him. <laughs> yeah, no, don't, don't. Very funny. Well, come on, he's the police officer. So Kevin doesn't like his meal, but he eats most of it anyway. Now he doesn't want to pay for it. Check out what the waitress says to him. It's gold on a plate. Yeah, yes, sir. I don't know that. Well, you ate the whole entire thing. You can show that camera too. No, I didn't eat. It's meat still on that chicken, man. But there's nothing like. It's meat still on that chicken, but man. But this whole entire plate has been eaten, sir. So you can't take that off my bill? No, not unless you would have gotten us at the very beginning and said that you didn't like your meal. I could have replaced it for you. So I, got, so I got to pay for that? Yeah, you ate the whole entire thing, sir. There's not even like. I got. So she telling me I got to pay for that? I mean, let me ask the audience. <laughs> This British Karen is angry that McDonald's took so long with her food. Now she's demanding free food. Karen, learn your lesson. This is what you get for being disrespectful. This McDonald's employee is eating her fries and throwing the burger at her. Now that's what we call karma. Sorry, do you know that we've been waiting like 25 minutes for this food? Huh? We've waited like 25 minutes for this food. What do you want me to do? I don't know, like... Uh, work fast. Some stuff? free juice or something. Yeah, like give us some it, yeah. free food or something. Happy manager. I I'm new employee. No, but like, no, no, but we expect I'm something free. Uh, the food please. for free or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, give yeah. us some free food. <laughs> you must think it's a joke. You want this food for free? What do you think this is? <laughs> Charity. <laughs> Take your food, please. I don't have time. I don't have time. We've been waiting for the food for like 25 food. minutes. 25 minutes, you I don't know. care. You can be waiting for 10 hours. I don't care. You oh, you don't care? Food. Yeah, we can tell that you don't care. Yeah, well, don't you care, don't, don't care. care. Do you know what yeah, customer services? Don't care, you don't care. Do you know what, do you, do you know what, what customer services? What's he doing against me? Zoom in on his face. What is he doing? You think he wants to be paying against me? <laughs> wow. McDonald's. What? UK what? McDonald's. <laughs> this is this is where that happened. Right. You, want, you want your burger? You want your burger? Collect it. Collect it. <gasps> I don't care. Collect it. No, babe. These Kevins are really scary and racist, too. This innocent guy is Hispanic. First of all, the Kevins verbally abuse him. Then one of them nearly slaps the man's phone out of his hand. Check these racists out. Well, what about what about me? I should go back where? You should go back home. Yeah. I should go back where? Home. Oh, are you, you don't want to say oh, it now? Go, go back to where you f***ing came oh, from. Yeah. You don't want to say it no more? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, wait, say that one more time. One more time. Say it. Say it. Listen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> now, you That's a raw ass. Hey, real big man we got here. This. <laughs> so they just told me to go back to Mexico. Yeah. Send it to the news, I dare you. <laughs> and they left Popeyes and they said, the N-word that works at Popeyes. Yeah. Oh my God, the N-word. There you go. Yeah. The next Kevin is similar to the other Kevins. He gets mad at a golf ball landing in his backyard when he literally lives on a golf course. Thank <laughs> you.
Karens know how unnecessarily funny they are? Because everyone ended up laughing at the next Karen. Karen went on a train and started demanding people to get out of her way and give her a seat. People called her out for her entitled behavior. Instead of realizing her mistakes, she calls them jealous because she was pretty and they're not. You're a big fat slob and you're touching me. Unnecessary. Well, you know what you're touching me. You're the one that sat your fat sloppy body down. <laughs> You wish you love me to be a silent object. Go to hell. Have a nice day. Keep your sarcasm to yourself. You're not very witty. I'm not your doormat. I don't know one person here anything. You just think that you have the right to disrespect me because I'm an attractive woman. This Kevin is threatening a bunch of teenagers riding on skateboards. Dude, aren't you a little old to ride one? Things get a little awkward when Kevin plants a big wet kiss on one of them. What are you even up to, Kevin? Just calm down. If you think you can take this property and do what you want with it, I'll take your property and do what I want with it. You won't. That's not. You what can't touch a minor. Yeah. yeah are the rules? Fucking press charges, dude. Oh, you're such a bunch of. Oh, what the, a generation of. Are the steroids? Oh, give me your skateboard. I I give me your skateboard. I want to do whatever I want with it because That's, I can just do what I want with other people's thing. property. This is not the same thing. It not is the, the same end. thing. It is. No, this is why you're the yeah, dumbest generation of fucking morons I've ever <laughs> skateboard. Ride your skateboard. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? <laughs> he just kissed me, bro. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Are you touching me over there? Yeah. Oh, he's. And I'm serious. Go! Go! What are you going to do? You go! The first Karen freaks out and leaves her daughter crying. She makes a ruckus in the store, so she gets kicked out because of it. Aside from the crying kid, the cops are called on her, too. You say you won't punch me in my mouth. No, but then. Come punch me. Come do it then. Come do it then. You just threatened me. I'm doing my job. You just threatened me. I'm doing my job. Oh, what's going on? She just threatened me. She just threatened me. No, punch me in my face. No, no, no. Jump over the counter, leave, 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 leave,
He's the one driving. He's the one driving. He's the one driving. I got tricked in here. Take your f***ing in the car, bro. You'll hit that. Look what you're doing to the f***. Thanks, Look what he's done. Kevin's and Karen's always ruin our days. This Kevin doesn't want to move, even though he's blocking a parking spot where a lady wants to park. He doesn't want to cross the yellow line, and now everyone's pissed. So this lady in the front car, she's trying to park in this spot that's open, and this guy just like will legit not move and go around. He's he's saying that he can't pass on a yellow line and, and now he's like literally just honking his horn everywhere. So now everyone is just pissed. You're an idiot. You saw me stop and then you came around and Everybody else does it. Everybody does it. They want to be you. Why are you? Why are you? Call the police, Gene. <laughs> is this guy seriously not gonna pass? My man, no, he's not. Look at this guy. Look at this fool. Go around, dumb Polite or rude as ever, this Karen's telling the restaurant just how much she enjoys her burger with extra ketchup. Apparently she's on a diet. But honey, do you know what the main ingredient is in ketchup? It's sugar. In any case, Karen's reaction is extreme. Where's your manager? Can I speak to your manager? Yeah, I'm sorry. Can I speak to the manager? Yeah, I'm sorry. Kevin is drunk too much, and he's on a plane. Bad place to lose your mind. Now he's yelling that his parents are millionaires. Even if it's true, nobody wants to know Kevin, do they? He starts throwing punches at flight attendants. Duct tape for you, Mr. Kevin. You guys suck. My parents are a for the million dollars. And you know what? The next Karen is screaming at other people for her spot. Her eyes are getting bigger and bigger as she talks, all while holding a dog. What a poor dog. Okay. Be quiet, be quiet. Are you 35? Look at her, look at her. Have you paid for this plot? Did you pay for it? It is not booked until June first. Okay, sir. Karen. So there is no right for you to be here. Okay, Karen. I am not f***ing Karen. Oh, there is no, no okay. right for you to be here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, who is this person? Okay. Get in your own okay. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Who are your bones in your own fucking what up? Okay, we got you. What else do you want? Karen's mom then chimes in, but she also shouts at her mother, who just wants to help. You know what? We're being really nice to you. You 
Well, they know I where. Being really nice, you screamed at my daughter. I screamed at her. <laughs> be, be, be quiet. Yeah, yeah. So who is screaming? Yeah. <laughs> really? Get the f away from us! You are not respecting our boundaries. We got six feet here. You're not six feet from our boat. Get away! Okay. Talking. On Mother's Day. Oh yeah. Stop. A boat. Oh. Okay. What's the problem? Oh really? Your dog? Why are you like that? Because on Mother's we're being so nice to you. This is not your mooring. Stop, stop. If you came to moor your boat here, there would be no issue, sir. Yeah. Just go to your own mooring. Stop. What number? This is thirty-five. Really? Just go to your own mooring. Yes. So what's the problem with thirty-five? That you do not book this f***ing slot. Get away. So what if I have thirty-five? Don't hit. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Don't touch me. What is the problem here? You need to leave. Be, be, be quiet. Both of you. Be quiet. Just be quiet. She's speaking. Can you tell me what your name is? Imagine working a night shift and you encounter a Kevin. There's drama at IHOP as this Kevin doesn't seem to be satisfied with their service. The servers tell him to get out and he begins smashing plates. Thankfully, there was a cop ready to arrest him. Busy would be every single table. There are three servers on, sir. We can only do so much. If you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. Who else is open? Go Nobody ahead. else. Well, exactly. you know, I'm not going to pay for a meal. Well, then bye. You're out. Hello, he's gone. Go Hey, oh. son of a bitch! You better put that right in my eye! That's on my drama! You know, I can't even oh. fucking Drama at IHOP, bro. Dale, Dale, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. I'm hurt. <laughs> drama at IHOP, dude. Jesus! school Karen is not in a very friendly mood. He isn't falling for her nonsense, so he calls on Jesus to revoke the evil spirit out of her. That just makes her angrier. Then it escalates. My father has many mansions. You know what? You can walk. You know what? Now. You're carrying a lady. You have a CD player and you and you got money, girl? Why are you getting closer to me? How can my father right now? And my father has many mansions. How about that? I can call Jesus. Yeah, I don't believe in Jesus. So oh, that's that that's spirit in you. Come on out. Restore the baby come by. Mando Rebecca Cusile dia by. Get away from me. Get my father right now. Get away. I don't. My father's already here. He's omnipresent. He's present. He's a present help in the time of trouble. You're distressed. I'm very, very, very. Can get something right now that can kick. I can call on Jesus. He answers prayer. Go. No, don't. Go back to where you came from. You gone. You go and be great with your lavender. Get away Get with your jerry beads. Go. I wasn't even talking to you. Oh my God. It's coming out of her. I can call my father. Jesus. Jesus. How I love him and trust him. You hold on to God. His unchanging hand. He promised, yeah, I will never leave you. Nor forsake you. <laughs> He's here with you Un until the end of time. It's coming out, it's coming out of her. Coming out. I dare you to scream, Jesus! Jesus. That's it. Jesus! No name above that name. In the next video, you'll witness Kevin trying to win his girlfriend. But instead of apologizing, he just said she won't find anyone else like him in the world and that she needs therapy. I gave you the best you've ever had. I made you feel loved. I made you feel appreciated. I gave everything to you. I did everything that I could to make you happy and it was never good enough. You need therapy. Caitlin, please. Come on. Please come tell me to off. So I can hear your voice. It's been so hard. Please, I'll be hopeless.
The next Karen tries to stop skateboards from skateboarding, and from her attempt to do so, she gets hit by one of them. I mean, what was she expecting? It's not like they can stop for her. Employees deal with way too many Karens for minimum wage. Clearly, they don't get paid enough because of this Karen who didn't like the bra she bought from their store. They already helped her find a new one, even though it's already past the return date. But still, Karen wanted to start a fight. Yeah, I think I might take some bras, too, because, like, you can just steal now, right? Hey, you, well, stealing is never okay. No, but they're looting. Everything. We tried to help her find a new bra after she complained about the one she bought. Don't touch me. Bitch, don't touch me. We returned the bra she didn't well, like even though it was past the return date. You're stealing, so you go. Not, no, I'm not stealing. You are Has stealing. You just left the store? <laughs> you just said, you, just said you were going to steal. Left the store. You just said you were going to steal. No, I said stealing. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> so, okay, go ahead. These people here in Soma think that they're better than everybody else, and now they're telling me to leave the store. Because you called everybody disrespectful names. And they're chasing me because I called one of their girls a. Anna, don't forget oh, that. Oh, oh, hi. That one. Hey. Get that one. So what am I going to do? Do I need to cancel? Ma'am, okay. please don't record yeah, my girls. That is weird. Oh, no, they're recording me. They're your girls now? You own them? What is wrong with her? I'm not even clocked in. Yeah, just, yeah. There's a chair over there. It's her right there. It's her right there. Yeah. A few seconds after, the owner of the store accidentally knocked Karen's phone over, and now she's screaming for assault. Now they're ready to fight her after all the drama Karen had caused. No, 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 This Karen doesn't know her place. She's entered a military zone without permission. Guess what happens next? The guards aren't too happy with her, and now she's mouthing them off. Time to get arrested, Karen. I'm pregnant. Don't f***ing touch me. You just committed a felony. Get out of the vehicle. For what? You're not the police. Yes, we are law enforcement. Step out of the no, vehicle. you're not. And why did you detain me? You, you said, said it was a civil stop. matter. It's you a said it matter. was a civil matter. I advise you that you're being stopped. You said it was a civil me. matter. You said I'm being detained Step for a civil vehicle. matter. No. Step out of the vehicle. No. Step out of the vehicle. No. Don't Step touch me. Vehicle. Do not touch me. Okay, I'm leaving it recording and don't touch my phone. That's not your property. And you said it was a civil matter. No, ma'am. It turned into a criminal matter. It was a criminal matter when I told you you were paying a citation. Look, guys, it's parking lot, Karen. Unreasonable as ever, Karen goes mad because she backed into someone else's car. No, Karen, you are wrong, not him. Just watch her getting more and more hysterical. <laughs>
this, Kevin is harassing the shop assistant at Walmart. He wants to talk to the manager, but she really doesn't want him to. Yikes, Kevin. Give the poor girl a break. Don't you have anything else in your life? So I'm in Walmart on Washington Street. I asked this young lady to find me a manager. I asked this young lady to find me a manager. And because I need some help. But she won't find me a manager. But I'm asking for help in the radio section. I, I called someone to help you. What else do you need? I asked you for a manager. Okay. And you told me you don't know who the manager is. He's insisting on a manager. He just needed help in automotive, but now he will not leave me alone. So I want to get her on camera Go ahead. so I can report that she will not even help me. I called someone where you needed. You asked I asked for a manager. You told me you don't have one. I told you I don't know who it is right now. And I asked for any manager. And you tell me you don't know, and you're not really helping Can me. Can you leave me alone? Yeah. Please! Stop harassing me! I'm asking for a manager, and y'all see what she's doing. So. Stop recording me! I'm going to get her. This is help. This is Walmart's help. That's Walmart's help right there. The next Karen is straight up unfair. Apparently she was lining up to pay for her groceries when she decided to leave her cart and go pee. She got upset when she came back and saw that her cart had been moved so that other people could also pay. She wanted everyone to wait for her. What a waste of time. She could have been done already. No, she couldn't. But okay. she has million items. No, she couldn't. Me. She couldn't. That's not how it works. How are you going to resolve this? I mean, you just laugh? I can't hear you. My love, when you finish, you buy you for her and that's it. What? When you finish. I'm not going to let her go because okay. that's just All my right. line. All right. Can you call this phone manager, please? Here's the phone manager. Unbelievable. Are you just letting two people that were behind me, in front of me, I have to stay in line all over again? No, you told them to put the items and they're putting the items. My items are here, she's not letting me go. All you needed to do is tell her to let me go. You have another person there. I have to go this way. I'm no. not allowed to film. I can do whatever the f I want. I don't know who told you that you could tell people what they can do. But that's not how it works. You're not telling me what to do. The tables have turned because this Karen wants to arrest the cops. Apparently, one of Karen's friends got arrested the other day, but was released a few hours after. Now, Karen wants to defend him because she thinks it's unlawful imprisonment. Like most Karens, she thinks she's above the law and wants to talk to their supervisor. For an unlawful imprisonment and kidnapping yesterday because we have here, uh, uh, do you know what the penal code is for trespassing? Do you know what it is? What is it? 602. Okay, can you show us in here uh, what he violated in the penal code 602? I didn't arrest that him. That would cause you. Okay, well, you're the he supervisor. He was there. You can show he us. He didn't, he didn't arrest him. But well, you were there. Okay, well, are you. Do you, you have anything else that you need from us? We want to press charges. All right. Karen and her friend think that the arrest is considered kidnapping. So now they want to press charges on the post office. We want to press all right, charges. All right. are you well, if it's federal law that you're trying to press charges on, are you talking about what, what, what do you want to press charges on? On the officer and on the post office. The that post office the, po the post office is the federal government. We don't we don't do federal government. Then why did you so come arrest our friend yesterday? So yelling. what I'm trying to tell you is, from my understanding, just so you know that I, I wasn't there, I was told he left the building. He was told by the officer to leave the building as a representative of the post office. He came back in and then refused to leave. Okay. For trespassing. Okay. That's it. Okay. Do you know what the guidelines are for the post office? You might want to look those up. Okay, but I just, no, no, I, no, I, wait, I, wait, I just, wait, I just want to be clear. Wait, wait, wait. You work for me. You, wait, wait, you know wait, what? Wait, you need to hold on just a second. Let me no, no. Uh, okay, so see. I told you, if you're not going to let me finish, we're just going to Okay, then I think you should probably take these with you. This is Title 42. It gives us the ability to sue you guys. Yeah, that's fine. Right? That's, you have every no, right No, I think that. that you really need to know so about this because we're angry and we're going to do this. This is Title 42, the post office, they tell you what you guys which is a deprivation of rights under the law. There's actually a page that says what you're allowed to do. 
if you would like to do whatever else you want to do when you say you're going to see, you have every right to do that. Feel free to do that. If you have anything else for us, I can you help you out with. You guys are not going to take that seriously until we drop Title 42 federal lawsuits on your desk. Okay. You, and you then have... you're going to be very upset and freaking out about it. And we're trying to stop that. Okay. Because we we're don't want studying. to come after you personally, but we, we will. Okay. Well, you guys have every right to, so uh, you need to do what you need to do. Did you guys take that. an oath to the Constitution? Okay. Are we Did done? You? Have a nice no, day. No. Did you take an oath to the Constitution? Aren't you, aren't you supposed to be protecting us, our rights against tyrants? See, ma'am, right now you're yelling at me, and I told Foreign you Foreign and done. domestic, I don't care. A, nice a belligerent day. woman I, still has so her you're, rights. So you're Which I told you you guys can do. You're not going to help We have an arrest report. You guys have become the criminals. You guys have anything else Is this what you wanted when you took an oath? I'm not going to argue with you. Yes, you are. You're supposed to indulge me. You work for me. We're your masters. We are your masters. You you're are not criminals. dismissed. You are the criminals, and you're not dismissed, Evan. Bald Kevin has just lost it. Not just his hair, but his tiny mind, too. He's threatening to beat up a 16-year-old girl that just mocked him for not having any hair. But he doesn't have any hair. So no matter what this girl did, this Kevin is totally out of line. Just look at him. Get the out of here. You're 40. I'm just a kid. If you weren't a kid, you know what? I'm gonna knock that phone out of your hand. Are you mad? Your daddy didn't win. Are you mad? Oh, just sit back and relax, you, you dumbass. Bye. Sit back and relax. I am sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Yeah. I wish you were 18. I'd fucking remove oh, your hand. I am. Hand. I am Touch 19. Me. Touch me. Touch no, me. Sweetheart. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Touch me. You're not worth it. Fuck Touch me. You're not worth it, baby. Touch me. Touch me. I dare you. I'll remove your yeah, head. That's provoking. Look at you know that. what? You're in my face. You're in my face. You yeah. better back off. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Look at this little dyke. Oh, I get more than you, mother. I get so much more than you. You know what? Put your hand on me. Did I? Put your on me. Yeah? Have another one. <laughs> Are you mad? Let's see. Let's see your play real quick. Yeah? Yep. Get behind it. Please, get behind it. Get behind it. <laughs> Bye, baby. You know what you need? You need to be removed from the gene pool because you're too stupid to be alive yeah yeah you do yeah uh you have yeah. no hair sweetie oh baby touch me touch me no touch me touch me touch me touch me touch me, touch me. come on come on heart get that phone out of my face i'm about this close i'm about get this back close. close i'm get about this Karen becomes ultra unreasonable. Of course, someone needs to get your temperature if you're going to do anything medical. Karen doesn't believe this and breaks down when the dentist denies her any help. You're going to work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety of our of all of our Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our You can't take my temperature. Everybody. That's against the law. All right, well, I can't. You're not, not an MD. We're not okay. allowed to we can't no, see you. That's I have a right to sue you for harassing me, the manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. Mm -hmm. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Let's get this done, okay? Mm -hmm. I, I can't, yeah. They're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see your policy. You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's this not a law. Office. It's not a law. This is a medical law. No, it's a dental office. The first Karen will really drive someone up the wall. She cuts this man's kids in line in the grocery store and thinks that he shouldn't get mad at her for doing so. He was only spitting facts when he called her crazy, but she used racial slurs on him in front of his kids in return. Karen tries to flip the situation around and pretends to be the victim, but security saw what happened. 
called me a this called me a though. She cut my kids in line, first of all, because oh she feel God. entitled. Then this stupid called me a Your kids were in front of my kids. Your kid look like you in front of my kids. So not only did you call me a you called all my kids. And I called you. No, you. They black too. They black too. This is the that I'm talking about. How the f y'all feel if you in a line in a b like her, cut your kids off like they not even standing there, get in line, and she calls me a Are you okay, sir? Are you okay? She calls me a and you see my kids? They're all 10 years old. Are you okay? He's nine. Are you okay? He's black. So it, 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 explain this to this. He has a red eye. I'm red. I'm black as he is. And you can single out and call one person. Are you okay, sir? We don't, we don't know what happened. So. Why are you uh, following me? What happened, bro? Listen to what happened. Do you feel that's yeah. fair? Are you okay, sir? This trash called me in front of my trash. kids. I can't call him a but he can call me a trash. But you took it racistly. Like, I called you a because you're a b and you're acting like a b you cut it's my still, kids off. You cut my kids off like they didn't mean shit. And uh, it, it shows how you feel. You, you just walk past the right? Kids, you just walk past the right? Are you okay? You're racist. You're Everybody's racist. Everybody's racist, dude. You're racist. I have a race. Why can't I be racist? Mean. Kevin's are never scared of confrontation. These two neighbors are arguing about their fence. Kevin causes a fight, talks over his neighbors, and even throws fake punches at his neighbors and their dogs. The funny part is the neighbors don't even seem bothered by Kevin. Post. That's my post. What? My post. Which post? These posts? These posts aren't yours, dude. They're my fence. That post is that post is not your post. <laughs> Bull you want to build your fence to mine. What the you crazy? You must yeah. be smoking that crack, dog, because this all belongs to me, dog. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. It does yes, not. it does, bro. It Look does at this. Not. Look at this. This fence here is mine. Look where the line is, my friend. No. You can see it. Look at that. It's not tied line. up to it. You're, a moron, dude. You're not tied up hey. to it. I wouldn't touch me if I were you, buddy. <laughs> You're a moron. You're a moron. You should go get a survey if you think it's your fence. You should go get a survey. No, no it's my fence. It's folks. not your fence, you moron it's that right post. in my line that, no, post, that is post is not is yours yes it is prove it go get a survey you fucking why are you shaking it. because I'm you know shaking. i'm reach over and fucking go ahead me. then you're going to fucking jail i ain't going to jail bro yeah you are oh yeah yep. oh yeah that is my post that's not your been post there for since your garage before it was built no it was yes, not bro it was. i've lived in this neighborhood before you even lived this in this house was built before you that garage and that fucking that post is mine. That post is not yours, yes, bro. It it's never been yours. Yes, it is. No, prove it. You attached Go get a it to my You fence. didn't. No, I didn't. It's it was been, attached to this fence. This when fence is... I fucking bought this guy. Survey property. it then. Show me your fucking proof then, mother. Dig it up. Dig it up, dog. In the meantime, you ain't got no proof that that's your post. Because guess what? This was right here, son. It was hooked up to that. Well, what the f is this then? That's not my problem, dog. That's what yours. What, hey, wait, what about this? When your tree fell on my post and you didn't fix it. What, is, what it, is it is it attached? Is it attached? This is my is it attached? Post. Was it attached? You to? added this fence and all that post yourself. No, one after didn't. this was put in. This was holding this fence up. It's been holding it up for years. So you is dumbass. this one? No. Yes, it has. No, it this has not. This fence has been here forever. No, it has dude. not. Ask my father because oh he's God. been here forever, dog. You are stone You're crazy. A, oh yeah, I'm a stone crazy, right? You are crazy, right? Cokehead. Yeah. Right? right. Right. What are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna do? Oh, dude, look at this. Well, I got to keep my dog contained since you want to let him run free. That's not what I want to do with your dogs. That trash, you know that shit going to come back in my garage, you fucking asshole. Well, you know what? I'm putting a new fence post in there. Go I'm right ahead. In there. Go get a snow. Go, go get a survey first. No, I don't. I the don't you don't. Yes, you that Then that post. post will be on that side of that post. It will be. Good. Yep. See, again. No, you know that that's gonna, my post. No, See, that's how dumb you are, you no, retard. I got you, bro. Oh, I got, got you. Hey, go ahead, dude. I got you. That's answer. cool. It's cool. You're harassing us. How am I harassing you, you twat? How, how, how am I harassing you? Why'd you come over here and start accosting me? Because you're coming over to me. I just want to make sure you didn't touch my I ain't touching your shit. How do you think I'm doing it the way I'm doing it? I wasn't going to touch your shit. You will be touching psycho shit. 
Oh no, this Karen is high. She's just lost it because a man is recording her walking down the street instead of on the sidewalk. Now she's throwing a bottle at him. Calm down, Karen, please. Hell hath no fury like a Karen losing her mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not calling the cops, bro. And I'm not playing, bro. Get the f away. Get that away from me, bro. <laughs> like what? Get that away from me, it's bro. It's like Karen, bro. I've never experienced one. He videotaped me. I don't even know what to do. That's what I'm saying. You're at McDonald's. But still, no, you can't. You have to get a percent. Oh, God. It's okay. <laughs> I want to be a, my husband will beat the f out of you. Oh, tell him to. Karen, bro, I never experienced a Karen. I raised your kid. And I have no video It's a Karen. It's a Karen. You got a little Karen. I got a Karen. This is why I raised your kid. Bro, this is my Karen. This is the first Karen I ever had. This Uber rider's having a burger at McDonald's. Suddenly, a thief steals his bike. This super fast Uber rider chases the man down, takes back his bike, and gets the man arrested. Check out how fast he is. Oh, oh no, someone's moving my bike. Oi, you got f***ed up, bro. Oi! Yo, oi! Bro, put the bike down! Nothing's gonna happen to you, man! No, stop! Stop him! Please! Oh my! Oh! No. Oh! Bro, can you do me a favour? Okay. Would you be able to drive me around? Where is it? He just rolled off. He's probably going up London Road. I can drop you some of Yeah. Oh, for f sake, can you Can you meet me at McDonald's? Because my phone's at McDonald's. If you open your phone, then I'll come and pick uh, Okay, can you can you meet me at the alley near McDonald's? Yeah, no. No, where you park. Thank you. Oh, for f sake, man. Please, emergency. Hi, uh, my, my very expensive bike's just been robbed outside McDonald's. I've chased him, I've got a GPS on it. Put the bike down, bro. What are you, what are you talking bro, about? Put the bike down, bro. Put the bike about? down, bro. What are you talking about? Leave the leave. This tow truck repo driver's just doing his job removing a car. Karen doesn't like that one bit. She climbs into her car and starts driving off. See what she does to the other cars? Check out how all these Karens are ganging up against this tow truck driver. You're not going nowhere, baby. You, you're not going nowhere, baby. You're embarrassing yourself right now. Hey, this your home, girl? Yeah, she did that. It was that serious, huh? So that's a hit and run, man. wherever I want to tow. You can call the cops if you need. If you yes, got some sir. questions, please call the cops. Call the cops. I own a towing company. I know what the That's fine. Are. That's fine. It ain't a repossession company, obviously. You need to brush up on your on your laws for repossessions. Sir, I can have you. I'm just letting you know.
Most of the time, Karens and Kevins pick on managers. But this time, the manager is Kevin, and he's racist. He's shaking with indignation as he calls the cops over this black woman's coupon. This guy experiences instant karma. Watch. It's a female. She's wearing a green... Uh, Tell them I'll be here stuff. when she, they arrive, that and, I will be waiting uh, for them to arrive. A white you can tell them her name dress. is Camilla Hudson. And I have ID her and will share Camilla it. Camilla Hudson. And it's probably spelled C A M I L L A H. You got it. Exactly. Like the river. Maury, M O R R Y. Matson, M A T S O N. African American. Black. No, I'm not African American. I'm black. Black isn't a bad word. All right, thank you. Karens are extremely unreasonable by nature, right? But what about this Karen insisting that this man put a leash on his dog even though the dog's on his own property? That's just insane, isn't it? Don't worry, Karen quickly learns not to mess with this guy's dog. Mess with my dog, mess with me. You know what? You go and get yourself help. Yeah, I will. You need it. I'll Come get on. Help, I'm getting rid of my stupid, crazy neighbor. Oh, get your dog away from mine. Uh, this is my yard, you stupid. No, your dog has got to be on a leash. Really? He's standing in my yard. But he's supposed to be on a leash. Come on, Aiden, let's go. Yeah, Aiden, take your barking bitch in the house. You know what? Watch your language. Watch your I'm 41, Patty. I don't care. You're I'm 40. One. You can take all the pictures. You get your dog away from mine. Shut the f up. Your dog is not even on a leash. You're right, because he ain't doing in my yard. Oh, you know what? He has to be on a leash, according to my vet. Come on, Aiden. <laughs> Look how my dog is being, you stupid your dog is barking, acting a fool. My dog is wagging his tail. This is our f***ing yard. I don't care what you say. He needs to be in a fenced yard or he needs to be... Why? Be, your dog's in a... You're the one that needs a fenced yard. Your dog be attacking people. Oh, he has not... Bubba loves everybody except bitches like you. And your dog shouldn't have an owner like you. Well, guess what? He has somebody that protects him. Oh, good. So you f*** with my dog, you f*** with me. What? No, f this stupid. This Karen's upset with a man who's been teaching his son how to drive. She claims that he nearly crashed into her. Karen follows them to the parking lot to confront them. Listen to their interaction. I'd like to know why you're following me. I would me. like your business card, please. You're not getting my business oh, card. Oh, but I have interest in being a student driver, so I would like your business Ma card. Ma'am, go away. There I'm going to have no you locked up you and can, follow me. Go ahead, because I'd like to call the cops, too. Call them. Okay. For what? For you following me? No, I'm not following you. Yes, you have. But you followed you us all the way down 17. You not be teaching students how to drive. That's my and, son, and you should mind well, your business and get in the car well, with your but children. But you almost cost my children their life. Ma'am, go away. No. Get away from me. You're harassing me now. You're harassing me now. Yes. I understand. But if I'm coming into But your stop lane following me. I'm not going to tell you again, or I'm going to call the police well, call because I'm a retired police officer. That's great. And what you're that's doing great. right now is illegal. Now, actually, you're parked no, in the middle of the parking lot. Go away. Go Kevin's don't know if it's their turn or not. This Kevin has set his little heart on a specific toilet seat. He should be happy that no one's flushing his stupid head down that toilet. If you're gonna cause problems, you're can you call the manager? You're causing the problem. No, I'm not. We've sold this to her already. You came right in front of me. I this have the receipt. We've okay. got it already. You work that out with another store. Well, you go and as soon as I do, I will. When you're I not taking the same away price. from this young lady. I don't take away from anything. I was That's here. That's what you're trying to do right, right now. No. Why I do I have to wait for you to call another store? That. It's mine. I don't need to wait. I was here in front of it. I said I want this toilet. We paid you for it. You up in front of me and you grab it from me. Because I paid for it already. I paid it. I picked it up. Put your camera down. Go ahead, record me. I'm not doing oh, no. anything wrong. <laughs> you have my toilet that I can't I grab. Have your toilet. <laughs> I don't have your toilet. Crazy. 
You're being ridiculous. <laughs> no, we'll have the police remove you if you can't remove yourself. I can remove myself just fine. Hey, Michael. This Kevin doesn't want to move to the seat he bought at a theater. An employee tries to correct him while other theater goers chime in. Kevin still believes that he's right and he threatens that he'll never come back, as if that's a loss for them. In this theater, so that's why do you yours. have to have mine? It's not yours. Go seat. away! That's not gonna I happen. pay my money, I have a right to, to it. sit in your seat. Correct. Yes, that's my not, seat. That's not your seat. How can you tell us that my seat? Because your ticket has your seat number on it. Whatever. Let's find it. Whatever. This can easily do be your own policy. No, your, your no, I'm arguing. gonna be a because you're big. And oh, I am not. I'm a patron here. Okay, and I'm trying to find. And this your will seat. be the last time that I come to this imagined theater. <laughs> All right, great. I paid I, my money. Great. Does please, anybody please here think back. that please this is back. actually uh, a, a, a thing where it's like it doesn't matter where you sit? It's not a side seating. It is. Go sit in your own seat. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Please, sir, let's find your seat and we can start. No, leave. I'm not going to. Then I'm going to ask you to leave. You did like four or five times. And that's why now we have a disturbance because some other people can't just okay. be like, you know what? I could sit right here. Sir, we're not doing this anymore. One seat off. We're not doing one this One seat sir. off. So if I were to move over one seat, everything would be okay. Sir, Is that what you're saying? You're just Is that what you're saying? Listen. Does that mean? Are you going to listen? All right, go ahead. Be, go ahead. Be my past. Okay, at this point, you are disrupting the show for these fine folks. We're gonna ask you to leave. We'll get you a refund though. I'll be nice and get you a refund. I don't know. I might wanna be taken out in handcuffs now. Sir, let's, come on. I paid my money. I don't understand yeah, we'll why it money. is. If I sit over here, one that's, seat, it's okay, and everything is right with the world. But if not, the world stops and everybody gets upset. Sir, let's go. I'll be nice and I'll get you a refund. I want more than just a refund. Okay. Can I get a drink? We'll take care of you <laughs> in the lobby. Fine. And then I won't come back. Okay. Ever. Okay. And I'm going to make sure everybody knows about this. Okay. I appreciate that. Why can't Karens mind their own business? This Karen is harassing a man who is standing in front of his house because she thinks he's a thief. Karen doesn't believe the guy lives there. What's funny is that she went home to the other side of the street beyond the guy's gates, so she doesn't even live there. What did you just say? What are you right now sitting out here doing? I'm minding my own business. What are you doing? I don't think you are minding your own business. Okay, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not really sure, but I'll figure it out. Okay, you figure it out. I'm probably where I live. Yeah, I live here too. Okay, so I'm probably at my house where I live. Got it. You feel good? Did you, did you do what you needed to do? What the f are you doing right now? I'm standing outside my house. You're standing outside of my house. Why are you standing outside of your house? doing what you're doing i don't think that's any of your concern what i'm doing well you're doing something why don't you go back to your house and i'll be at my house you sound like an idiot you walked over from your house standing in front of me at my house yeah, trying did. to tell me i'm Absolutely, an idiot yeah i did okay good job so what are you doing i think i'm doing none of your fucking business Bye. Kevin claims he's an investigative journalist. He parks his car in a police law enforcement parking lot and starts questioning a detective. He's accusing the officer of drinking on the job. Do you have a life, Sherlock Holmes? This Kevin clearly doesn't have a life. What's this about? Is that a problem? Uh, yeah, this is a police law enforcement parking lot. That is a problem. Oh. Who are you? I'm Detective Mike Jardine. Oh, yeah? What are you working on? What are you working on right now? Several cases. Okay. What, what is this about? Are you working on something right now? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. All right, what are you working on? What are you working on? It doesn't matter what I'm working on. I'm asking you, what are you doing here taking pictures? Where have you, uh, where have you been today? Have you been here all day? Or have you been out and about a little bit? 
What is this about? Who are you? I'm, I'm asking the questions. Where have you been today? No, have you been I'm here? I'm asking the questions. You're on this property. You're you're on this property, so you need to ask answer my questions. Are you drunk? Why are you slurring your words today? So have you have you been here all day or have you been out? Have you been to the bar today at all? Who are you? Have you been to the bar today? Who are you? I'm an investigator. Investigator for who? Investigative journalist. I investigate uh, corrupt officials. So I'm wondering, where have you been today? Have you been here all day or have you been out at the bar at all? Working on a fraud case. That's okay. where I've been. Okay. Have you been to the bar at all today? No. Okay. You got any drugs on you? Have you used any drugs today? What a ridiculous question. That's not a ridiculous hey. question. Do you know where he's been today? Uh, I don't <clears throat> No, I don't keep tabs on him. I've okay. Out and about. <clears throat> Do you know what time his shift started? Uh, not off the top of my head. Okay. Um, does he usually drink on the job or? No. no. Not not that anybody knows of for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Have you guys ever breathalyzed him? While he's been on the job. Would you Would you submit to a breathalyzer for me right now? You're ridiculous. You know that. Same. You've got about five minutes to get out of here, right now. Or what? Or what? You're you're on my property. Order. This isn't your yeah, property. Yeah, shut the hell up. Get out of here now. What'd you say? I said shut up and get out. No, of here. No, you get out of here now. Hey, you better get your you better get your boy. Get your butt back in your office you and do your up. job. You shut up and get you out. You get of here. your butt back in your office no. and do your job. No. No. You quit drinking on the job. You understand me? Whatever. You punk ass. You get your back in there. You don't look back here again. I'll be watching you. You are now under investigation.